Okay, everybody, welcome back to Dan of All Trades. Um, today we are working on a BMW E39 M54 engine. Um, what we are doing is, I'm going back together with it right now, um, but I'm cleaning everything up in the process. Um, what I'm going to show you in this video is how to take apart and clean your valve lifters. Uh, this side's going back together. I have this side out still. Um, I'll show you on the bench, uh, explain it a little bit better for you. We are going to take apart your lifter here. Um, looks like a sealed unit, but really this little plunger in here, that can pop out and we can clean that. There's a little uh, check valve in there, a little ball in there and a spring. We can clean all that out. Um, you might want to be doing this. This might be your problem if you have valve tick going on, if there's a ticking going on in your engine. When it's cold, um, I'm doing it not necessarily because of that, but I was doing other engine work and I'm going back together and I want to clean everything up. I don't want to have this problem when I go back together. And be sure when you get this all apart and you're cleaning everything, don't mix these lifters up. Um, that's why I have them in a little container like this. Um, I'm doing it like this so I can take them all apart and then they can all sit in here at once in their each little spot to uh, clean. Important part is don't mix them up. One needs to go in the one spot and I've numbered mine. This is the front of the engine. So I'm counting my way back towards the firewall. Okay, so what we're gonna need to do this, um, you're gonna need a block of wood, two blocks of wood, something like this um, on the ground or nice sturdy bench. I'm just gonna put a rag on there. Um, you're gonna take your lifter, you're gonna set it facing down like that. Um, you're gonna need another piece of wood to go on top, something like this. Set it right on top. You're gonna use a rubber mallet and you're just gonna hit it right on top of there. Now be sure to really smack that thing. And when you do, you're finally gonna get this to pop out of there. This is inside the plunger. And we're gonna take that apart. Should just be able to pull that out like that. There's gonna be a spring in there. Okay, there's our spring. Okay. And then, um, you can't see it right now, this is all oily. There's gonna be a little, looks like a little ball in there. There'll be a little ball in there. We're gonna throw this in the parts cleaner and I'll let it clean up and then you'll be able to see that ball. And let me show you when they're, when they're about to pop out, you can see it start coming out. You see that piece in there? It's a lot longer compared to, here's one that, I don't know if you can really tell in the video. This one is still in there. We need to pop out. This one I already hit and it's moved itself out. Um, you can get in there and pull it out the rest of the way. What's keeping it in there is this little clip right there. That's what holds it all in there. Okay, now we got them all apart and they're all sitting in there soaking and cleaning. Um, and what you're going to be cleaning, you're going to let them sit in there and clean. And then when you get them all apart, you're going to take your little check valve here. Okay, inside here. There's going to be a little tiny ball in there, right in there. So you want to clean that all out and you're just going to push on that. You just want a little bit, you want to free that up if it is stuck. Um, like I said, I didn't have any problems with ticking noises or any problems with mine. Um, I'm just going back together, so I'm cleaning everything. Okay, here's a good view of the little plunger in there. Um, now, a good way to tell if you got it clean enough is you'll be able to see it, of course. Um, be nice and shiny. Won't be any oil residue left in there. Um, and a good way to tell that it's working is just get a little bit of your cleaner that you're using in there. Fill it up. And then just start hitting that little ball. And you'll see it drain out. See that? Drained right out. So you know that that ball is working. It was holding fluid in there and then it drained it right out. 
and it's nice and clean in there. Now, when we're going back together with this, okay, you got your lifter, of course. This is the end that is sticking out. Okay, here's our little plunger. See the little tip? The spring is gonna go onto that. And then that is going to go into the plunger like this and just kind of work it, work it till it slides in there. And it should spring load itself like that. Now the easiest way to put this in there, hold it up like that, hold the cap up like that, kind of sideways. Guide it in there a little bit. When you get it started, you can flip it over on its end. And then instead, after you do about 24 of these, your fingers are going to hurt from popping these all in. So just take a little something with a soft in here, a little screwdriver end or something, and then just tap it. Give it a tap. That's in there. Should be spring loaded and you know it's in there correctly and ready to go okay everybody that's our video for today um hope it helped you and like always don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time